getting in church, I get to meet the, the, the people that had accompanied him to my home, some of them, mm -hmm. and some other now church elders, seated, wakiwa wamepanga, ile design ya the corona, the spacing and everything, eh? the church was set. Mm -hmm. So everyone knows this is a wedding except yeah, the except bride. the bride. My mom is not there. My dad is not there. Nor all my sisters. Mm -hmm. Ama any of my friends. I was just alone. For a minute, I just felt like I was just in a world of my own. Of course. Because I failed to understand what is happening. And I must admit for the first time, I felt conned. Something from inside told me no. Things are not right. Hello and welcome to today's episode of Candid with Yvonne. My name is Yvonne Kawera. Today we have the honor of hosting our show at the Oriental Palace along Embu Nairobi Highway. Now this is a place that is quiet and peaceful away from the hustle and bustle of the city. This is a place also where you can get to experience beautiful sceneries, amazing stuff that we always serve you with so much kindness. We also get to experience the very beautiful food and the amazing nyamachoma that they have at your back and call. And today we are privilege to meet our very beautiful guest Catherine who will share with us a story of her emotional past and how she picked up her pieces and moved on with life only to teach each and every person a lesson join me Karibu okay. sana to the show Asante sana Yvonne before you even get to the point where you're, you're walking into your surprise wedding yeah. let's get to understand who Caroline is mm -hmm. where does she come from before you get to all these dramatic events yeah, <laughs> of <sure>. your life. <laughs> so where does Caroline uh -huh. come from? Okay, so Caroline is from Kirinyaga County. Mm -hmm. um, born in a family of three girls. Mm -hmm. Yes, and they love God. Wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Growing up, how was life? How, was, how have these events in your life growing up shaped you to be who you are right now? All right, I would say like... Um, I grew up just like a normal uh, child would do, mm -hmm. from the shags, you know, atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And I thank God that I had very loving and supportive parents, and uh, they saw me through life. Right. And I would say they are the best parents in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm so blessed to have them. Mm -hmm. And being the first born also, life was interesting, you know, those <laughs> responsibilities of, uh, you know, a first born, you become a deputy parent, right? <laughs> yes. So, yeah, it was interesting. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, what happened in that space before? So, Hassan Ilisomea a primary school called Karaine, mm -hmm. and then I went to Kiburia Girls, and then due to health issues, I went to Karaini High School. That's where I did my KCSE. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I went to college and graduated with a diploma in manage, uh, management, that is human resources management. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then what happened next? Ah, uh, from there, Nikanza hustling. It's a hustling mission, you know. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Nikanza Tama King here and there. Eish, it was tough mm -hmm. during our time. Hmm. It was tough, yeah, yeah. Tamaking was tough. You know, going from one office to the other, after job, nini nini. And then I landed to teaching jobs. Mm -hmm. Those were the kind of jobs that were available during that time, yeah. And so, mm -hmm. Nika teaching, I think, three schools, mm -hmm. yeah, two academies and one high school. And then from there, that's when I got an opportunity to go and work in Yeri County mm -hmm. as a receptionist. And then after working there for, I think it was a year or so, I came to Embu, mm -hmm. where I was in pride as a secretary in a school. Mm -hmm. In my childhood, I had a friend, a, a, a guy, and uh, we, we were brought up like brother and sister. Actually, at some point, uh, 2010, 2011, we were referring to each other as brother and sister. Mm -hmm. And that's the kind of bond that we have, a guy I love and respected so much. And then, after some time now, after I've started working, we saw it right maybe to graduate from just friends to lovers. Okay. And that's where now we ended up being love bands. And Nitu uh, Mapenzi to Lisonga for quite some time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I would say it was true love. I enjoyed that board, by the way, mm -hmm. for three good years. Wow. Yeah, and it, it was amazing. Mm -hmm. But then it got to a point 
that uh, I had to call it quits for reasons uh, because um, we were facing some kind of rejection from the family mm -hmm. and especially the mom and the grandpa. They were not supporting the idea of us getting married. And remember, it's from the same village. Mm -hmm. So that kind of rejection, it affects almost everybody in the family. Mm -hmm. And so it was too much for me to handle. Yeah. And uh, instead of creating the enmity, having all those pressures to deal with, we came to a mutual agreement mm -hmm. that we just call it quits. Okay. Yeah, so it's a guy I respect uh, so much because um, we handled it in a very mature way. That's nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you're you still know, friends now? Yeah, we are still good friends. Beautiful. Yeah, not just friends, but good friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So after that phase, of course, mm -hmm. there's heartbreak, there's all of that. Yeah, sure. How do you deal with this um, you know, sudden end of mm -hmm. a relationship? Mm -hmm. How do you move on? How do you pick up your pieces and move on? Uh, I must admit that that was tough. Yeah. Because, you know, uh, I had invested so much, or we had invested so much in the relationship. Mm -hmm. And especially bearing in mind that this is a person you've seen grow. This is a person you know their likes and dislikes. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to hurt them. And then it has got to a point that now you can't, you, you know, be together. Mm. So we had to, I had to fight it rather. And uh, I think that's where now I came to making a mistake because I thought uh, the way that I will maybe forget this person, the way I will come to maybe put a full stop in the whole thing is by being in love with somebody else. Ah. Yeah, that's the biggest mistake I would say I did. Mm. Because within two months of leaving that relationship, I started dating again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And but then I would say I was so disappointed because I this is a person I wanted to commit to for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. This is a person I wanted to, you know, grow old with. But then all of a sudden, Mambo mm -hmm. you know? So you're hurting. Yeah, you're way. hurting at that moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then I was like, you know what? Life doesn't stop at that. So I have to pick mm -hmm. up my pieces and move on. Mm -hmm. And now that is where I, I, I had actually started like a business through the help of that guy. That's why I'm saying we are still friends. I wouldn't deny that fact mm -hmm. because he has been a very, all he was a very supportive person mm -hmm. or a very supportive partner. So he guided me through becoming financial uh, or financially disciplined. Nice. Yeah, disciplined. And I, I started like a job. Mm -hmm. So now, after I called quits uh, with that guy, I now went to check on my job on a particular Sunday. Mm -hmm. And this uh, job happened to be where now I met the guy now who married me. Right. Yes. So mm -hmm. it was on a Sunday. So I go to church, and after church, I'm like, okay, let me just rush over to job and, you know, check how the week has been. So I'm left alone on the road, just walking. So the guy now comes and he was like, hi, hi, I've seen you somewhere, blah, 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 just uh, the normal talk, you know, mm. when you meet somebody for the first time. What are you doing? I'm like, okay, why should you even ask me what mm. I'm doing, you know? At this point, I know, garden. Yeah, you do I know not want those to. kind of questions. Mm -hmm. But then I, I ended up, you know, being in the, what can I call it, in the business sector, you must be friendly yeah, at all it costs. could be your customer. Yeah, it could be a client, that mm -hmm. is it. So at this point, I'm like, okay, I need to be, you know, punguza ni niki dogo, ma So I talk to this guy, mm -hmm. and then I'm like, okay, I am coming from that shop we did with ABCD. So he's like, oh, good. So I'm looking for the screen card of this phone. I did with uh, phones, accessories, mm. and then PESA and electronics all together. Mm -hmm. So he's like, I need a screen card to use on my phone and all that. I'm like, oh, perfect. I can get that for you. So he gives me the phone. I check. It's an iPhone. So at that moment, I never had iPhone accessories in the shop. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, if you give me some time, because today is on Sunday, maybe Kesho, you can come you pick get it. it. Yeah. So he's like, okay, why don't you give me your number? Uh -huh. <laughs> How convenient. Yeah, so mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Instead uh -huh. of coming and then I get that you don't have it, mm -hmm. I just call to confirm. Yeah. And I'm there saying, ah, it's a customer after sure. all, so why don't I just give my number? Mm -hmm. So I give him my number. After I don't take my, 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 my personal number, is not, it's not as personal, you know. Mm, it's a business Yeah, it's a, it's a business number. Mm. So I ended up giving the contact and I left. And I never took his, by the way. Mm -hmm. I just gave mine and left. 
So I go. But then after a few minutes the guy comes back. Because on Sunday ni kama kuna kwanga na shida ya magari eh and especially masaya jioni. So I'm there the guy comes and then he's like but would you pata gari what uh, would you mind if I drop you I'm like no mm. I'm okay how would you just tell me you mm-hmm. drop me so I insisted on going on my own and that was it mm. being the gentleman that he was he called me later to inquire whether nilikuwa nimefika mm. salama mm. so he called and uh, was like okay so and so I want to confirm that nimefika salama mm. like, that's so good of you thank you mm. nilifi nilifika mm. na hiyo ikaisha mm-hmm. now coming on the the next day the guy calls me now si tunaongea business mm. so ananiambia nataka ile kitu yangu ilipatikana oh poor me sasa sande vile nilitoka sikuwa nimeitafuta. So mimi hata nilishasahau mm. kama kuna kitu kama gani kama hiyo. So I was in uh, at work just kama kawaida. So the guy tells me ah kama hujapata then siezi ngoja cuz I'm actually taking my flight to the I'm like hmm? mm, flight. flight. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So ile tu you just got a friend so you just having the normal conversation. Mm. So I'm like Uh, a flight where to mm-hmm. he's like actually i was to go last night it's only that they yeah, canceled it for abcd i was like okay that's in order so where are you going hmm. the guy tells me he's going to dubai mm-hmm. where the caro that i am mm-hmm. i love dubai <laughs> <laughs> from childhood actually mm-hmm. there is like a book that i was noting nikiwa tu raima some places that i would like to visit in dubai, and dubai it tops the list you know <laughs> so uh, hearing uh, the nini mention of dubai i was interested you know i wanted to know ah, this guy is just from you know here mm. he's going to dubai and working there i wanted to know more about it mm. and that's why uh, that's what like warmed me towards communicating to him often mm-hmm. so kufika airport is there taking the selfie sending to me mm. sasa ka whatsapp kaka kwa ni kufro kufro you know yeah. <laughs> so at the end of right yake ilikuwa sana na usiku mm. so you know from now that moment up to sana ne we were communicating before networking in here mm. so we communicated he sent me photos i wished him well and he was a good looking all he is a good looking guy by the way mm-hmm. so I wouldn't like resist him being a, just a normal friend yeah. you know so he went back and then after arrival after data ni mimi na chokozana sasa ndio ni due ni kitu miwa picha ya wapi picha za dubai you know? okay. yeah mm. I, i have interest in the press you mm. know so i'm there asking by the way what you do what you, hey and let me tell you guys ile kitu nilini surprise in a week's time i felt like i know this person in and out wow reason being eh calling each and every moment na ni video calls mm. unaona sms every now and then then ile kazi anafanya kuna kazi angeenda mchana kuna shift za mchana that is na kuna shift za usiku mm-hmm. so you know he would just call any time you know that uh, frequent forever so the bond mm. grew up grew very fast it grew very fast mm. so by the end of 2 uh, 3 weeks Ah, we felt like gosh we know each other kabisa mm. mm-hmm. then it ka fika point because now he's sending me his photos and uh, photos of the place mm-hmm. he's like why don't you send me your photos, photos i love photography with a passion mm-hmm. so i had a lot of photos so i kept them going you know one by one, one by <laughs> uh-huh. yeah and so it became interesting na ilinisaidia sana ku heal now from the previous relationship mm-hmm. yeah And so ikafika point the guy was like hey I, I think you're a good person and I would like to know you more I was like know me more in terms of mm-hmm. I want to know who you are like okay tell me what exactly you want to know mm-hmm. so I opened up about my previous relationship and I think even the lifanya nitiki advantage because he knew that oh. I was broken from the word go I had my own reason mm-hmm. and I was like kama nilipitia hiyo I wouldn't wish anybody else to go through that. So I was very careful mm-hmm. by the next person that I'm going to have I'll treat him well. You know, I'm going to mm-hmm, and mark you this is somebody unasikia amekuwa appreciate anakuambia ameambia hadi the reverend that uh, ako na another girlfriend already. Mm-hmm. So he's know? telling you all these things yeah, while he's things. in Dubai. Exactly. Ah, so it became so overwhelming for me. Mm. And I thought ah mimi nimefika, mimi nimefika. Mm. Mm-hmm. So out of kuongea ongea nini nini, I remember telling him 
that now he, this is where the chat issue came in. Eh? I remember telling him that uh, personally, I have an issue with churches. I don't just go to any church and pardon me on that. Mm. I remember very well. And actually, it was on text. Yeah, because most of you have a job to go to a text. I can you lose why? Nikambia kuna some churches. I just go and I feel niko off. out of place. I'm mm. out of place. So I would like to have a place where I'm worshipping na niko in it kabisa. Mm. So I niambia, this is where I worship. I can a location yeah, the church. And I purposed. Ujue nilikuwa serious because I remember telling him about the church. Eh? Mm. Ilikuwa after meniambia, anataka kuni graduate now from, a, from a, a, just a friend to a lover. Mm. And I mean, come on, there are some issues I would like to know first about you before yeah. Nifanya Nini, Nikupe response yangu. So I planned on going one Sunday to that church. And so I did. Mm -hmm. From morning devotion to the last, last service. Hey, church was okay. I loved it. You know, the way, and especially the praise and worship. Mm -hmm. My heart is in praise and worship. Yes, yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So if I go to a church where praise and worship, I will feel. Uh, but this I connected with them so well, and uh, Niki talk uko, I was like, ah, perfect. This is okay. Nika I went to church, and it's okay by me. It's fine by me. So I can yambia. So will you marry me? Ish. I'm like, huh? Okay. How fast? Mm -hmm, that fast. Mm -hmm. So I can yambia. The goal that I have for this thing is marriage. So if you're not ready for it. Just tell me I drop it now, now, now. Because I'm serious. I want uh, to build a family. So if you're not a lady, there's no need of me and you being in okay. existence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Me, I saw an extra serious person. So here, ni mimi sasa ni lidiona kama jo, kama joka. So I was mm -hmm. like, ah, okay, then uh, I'm okay. That's what I told him after mm -hmm. I think two days. I'm okay. I'm mm -hmm. not there for jokes also. You know, you want this thing to be. I want it to work. Mm -hmm. After all, remember, I'm from somewhere that it never worked. So coming now to this, I want to give it my all just to see it successful. Mm. Okay, so there I am to come make a So mm -hmm. now we started on planning how he was now to come back. Remember, all this time, eh? Ni once. Once peke ake. There's yeah? a potential client. Exactly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> so he says uh, he's going to make arrangements on how he'll come back to, to Kenya. Mm. And so he did. On arrival, mtu anakuja. Kama kuna kitu, I noted, though now I came to realize at the end of everything, eh, mm. everything was being done in a haste. You know, maharaka tu hata huerewi. Mm. Because this guy, when he came, as we were talking, anasema, atinataka Saturday, twende kwenu, Sunday, twende church, sijui wapi. I'm like, what's why? The rush? What's the rush for? Mm -hmm. You know, so we decided we were to start na kwenda kweto. Okay, from his side, I would mention mm -hmm. that ilikuwa rahisi because he he never had parents. So you see, the only people maybe I was going to meet were the sisters, mm -hmm. and this is not a very official thing because for sisters you can just go and you know from hang their workplaces and hang out or yeah mm. uh, things of uh, the, the, that nature and get to know each other so that's what we did i didn't share to job kwa sister ke tukajuana and that was it and we were done na part ya familia nini ya familia from the side mm. so now on to now my part i remember calling my mom and giving her a notice of three days that we were going home Okay, they they never had a problem with that. Eh? Being a first born, mm. they had some kind of very high expectations about me, you know, and especially as far as getting married is concerned. Mm. So even telling them, kama asubui tunakuja jioni, they would also mm. be okay, idea. you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then eh, it wasn't uh, these, uh, what do you call them, procedures za marriage. Mm. It was to just kuenda kujua, yeah. the introduction, mm. rather. So that's what happened. Okay. So after going home, everything is done. My parents are happy. Do I be a so and so what's in Dubai? You know. It was also so sweet for them, you know. Mm -hmm. And they loved the whole thing. So now we came back. Mm -hmm. Okay, the following day, it was now on a Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, the guy now tells me 
that the mchungaji had said that we were to go to church so that tupewe ruhusa ya kukua tuko pamoja mm. okay by that statement hakuna mahali the click kwa my mind that i'm going to commit myself in a marriage because okay, however much however much i'm serious in the relationship for a wedding to take place they have to be premarital counseling of course you you planning yourself exactly do you know okay fine i knew or wrong i would be going to church because he mentioned mm. but Not i never knew i was going there for a, a wedding. wedding yes mm. i never knew that i was going there for vows you know but now shock came me tunafika church uh, kwa church compound anatoka na ana, anapeana rings i'm like rings you know it was even a shock to myself how i remember i i was with my brother in love in the car and i was asking him do you understand what is happening he says well saying i don't unless uniambie na mimi namuuliza na kuambia nini ni wewe unaniambia you know it was just a confusion getting in church i get to meet the the, the people that had accompanied him to my home some of them mm-hmm. and some other now church elders seated wakiwa wamepanga ile design ya the corona the spacing and everything eh? the church was set mm-hmm. so everyone knows this is a wedding except yeah, the except bride, the bride. <laughs> my mom is not there my dad is not there nor all my sisters mm-hmm. ama any of my friends i was just alone for a minute i just felt like i was just in a world of my own because i failed to understand what is happening and i must admit for the first time i felt conned something from inside told me no things are not right when he yeah? visited you uh, mm-hmm. with his delegation did he mm-hmm. mention to any of your parents that no. hey i'm interested in marrying this girl it never happened it never happened but wow. i understand mm-hmm. they intentionally avoided mentioning it to my parents because they knew what mm, yes. that's quite a red flag you know? yes it was it was mm-hmm. but to me at the moment i saw a yellow one not a red <laughs> one <laughs> and that's maybe maybe not <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. hey, for once i got caram right now but i thank god because finally mm-hmm. at least i i'm okay but then it was just too much to handle so we go sit down the pastor stands calls us in front does that the kapat you know being a church girl i understand all those procedures are to see eh? mm. he does all of them and asks if anyone has you know a reason why you should not be wed i think is the bride was there but i never did yes what are we celebrating i never kissed mhm i just pretended to be you know shy but deep down i wasn't shy I, I don't know myself to be a shy person. Ah, okay. But thankfully, hakukuwa mm-hmm. na signing of the marriage certificate okay. because I understand the registrar's office wasn't working at the moment, you okay, know. Lucky. Yeah, mm-hmm. lucky me. So, we go the procedures are done and mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. 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 Now, the bride I refused. Did you say the vows? The vows I did. Uh-huh. Yeah, I did. Na mkabarikiwa. Na tukabarikiwa. Now your husband and wife. Now your husband and wife. Just so. Mm-hmm. Yes. There was no reception. There was no cake, no nothing. I I with I mean, I just um nilitoka tu na rings za nini. They were silver rings because they were bought from Dubai. Mm-hmm. So at least I wore Oh my god, four. girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so <laughs> there was no reception after now the drama wedding mm-hmm. we went carried my things remember i have been uh, i had been sorry an independent lady from 2011 mm-hmm. and now coming to get married in 2020 i had everything maybe in the house kuno no do in those stuff mm-hmm. stuff eh? mm-hmm. and uh, because i had visited his place nilikuwa nimeona his alikuwa ameanza mjengo and all that but uh, the, it was not furnished So I preferred because now he's working outside the country. Hakuna haja nipeleke vitu zangu nyumbani and then I go huko na hakuna kitu. Mm-hmm. So I was like okay see so you starting mm-hmm. life. Si maisha ni kusaidiana. Kweli. Karo beba vitu zako zote. Nenda olewa, you know. Mm-hmm. Ki stabilize, mkinunua vitu zenu, I'll take them uh, nini at home. I understand as a lady you're not supposed to be married with your things. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. something I came mm-hmm. to learn by mm-hmm. So me I go and life starts. Mm-hmm. 
Aha. Corona sasa ime hit sawa sawa. Unfortunately, unfortunately, flights are crossed. Hai mm-hmm. zirudi Dubai. Mhm. Uko ndio job yake iko. Mm-hmm. But uh, hawajafutwa. Yeah. But now he can't go back. Yeah, kuna national yeah. I mean global lockdown. Exactly, kuna mm-hmm. lockdown. So we decided now he has to look for something to do. Okay, he's a he's a hard working guy. And that's something I would uh, say of him. Mm-hmm. He's hard working. So he got a place to be going for hustle. Yeah. Akiwa huku alikuwa anafanya kazi ya mechanic. So mm-hmm. alikuja akaanza ku kwenda anga hizo vibarua vibarua eh? at least to sustain us. Mm-hmm. And we bado nilikuwa naendelea kufanya ile for industry. Yeah. So this life continued for uh, quite some time and it was okay. Though red flags zilikuwa zimeanza okay. even before now settling but I think I ignored most of them. What are some of the red yeah. flags uliona no kai ignore? Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. kuna calls zingine ange make aonge farawi. Hadi zingine you, you, you see the setup ya nini ya shags. So we had the nyumba kubwa and then the uh, pitra clinic huko mm. nasikia mtu akochona anaongea na simu. Mm. I think that was strange. Okay at some point nilim question but then akaniambia ni vile alipigiwa so ye yeah, ali proceed to. Okay it might not make sense but anyway he's an adult. So if he says that is what he's so right to do who am I to say that? Mm. So that was it. And then uh, there was also another instance that actually it got me so scared because I saw a very different person from who I have been dealing with for those few months. Mm. So one particular day uh, he uh, I've told you he was working as a mechanic. Sure. Eh? So he w- he had referred me to his feral mechanics in case I have a car nini eh? mm. what do you call it? Car issues. Mm. Car issues. Mm. I will definitely maybe uh, contact them for them to help me. Mm. So this this one guy <laughs> well, this was funny. Mm-hmm. So because now I had been given his contact, we were talking. Una viluneza eka WhatsApp nini status and somebody just uh, mentions it or comments or on response it, to it or yeah. response to it here. Yeah. So this guy happened happened to see it. Ni kwa nimeenda road trip from me I love traveling a lot a lot a lot. Mm-hmm. So nilikuwa nimeenda for that I mean road trip. So the guy tells me, eh hey, ukienda next time usiniache. Mm-hmm. You cannot just brush off such a comment honestly mm-hmm. and this is not a meme. So I told him, mm-hmm. be sure nitakuweka kwa mfuko next time. So the kachat ili fro tu na kaujinga flani mm-hmm. eh? but being the social person I was, I never saw any issue. And then you see it wasn't anything to hide because he even had my passwords mm-hmm. to my phone. Oh yeah, your yeah? hubby now has yeah. access to your phone. So there's nothing to hide. Mm-hmm. Hey me I go to take a shower I come back get him on call very furious what are you doing with my wife what yeah, he's calling the the guy now yeah uh-huh. and the call hadi anamtusi yeah there's a very common kama tusi name people know about it mm. yeah anamuita hapo akimuuliza what do you think who do you think you are who gave you the permission to just talk anything to my wife and i was like okay i felt weird because he's being so overprotective yeah eh okay red flag that was a red flag too mm-hmm. but i ignored mm-hmm. 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 Ah, on to the next red flag mm-hmm. uh one particular day i was from work and he was also from work so an auntie of his eh alikuwa hose akampigia akamwambia nimekuwa hospitali my leg nini nini kindly mkitoka job mm. kujeni mnichukue mkinieka home mm. then we were like it's okay so now because um, like mtu akiwa na shida ya mguu hezi mwambia akae back seat mm. so me i just told her ka hapa mbele ni i'll stay at the back of which i have to mention mimi when this guy was driving <laughs> nilikuwa nashikilia roho tufike Hey. Tulipata accident like a hundred meters from our home. Yes. Alienda amepita na mtu wa bunda. Yeah. So the boda boda guy now akarushwa his side gari bado ika proceed but ilienda kusimama from a distance. Now let me tell you something that shocked me that I remember I cried. Do you imagine at such a scene there's somebody who has been injured, we have a sick person in the car. And then he just walks out, takes his phone, takes photos and sends to the uh, the baby mama. Mhm. 
Oh wait, not even helping the person who's in Yeah. Time. He never did. He never what? did. And that left me wondering what kind of a person am I dealing with? I mean, mm, is it not priority. inhuman yeah. what you're doing? Yeah? So I came to realize, I never realized at the moment that I met a baby mama picture, mm. but I saw him taking the photos. Eh? And I was like, okay, maybe he's taking for evidence of yeah, something. Of mm. I never judged it from that. Many, eh? Now I came to, you know, feel bad about it later. So the police came. <laughs> Unfortunately, the police station was like 15 meters from where we were. So now the police came and let me tell you, this guy is arrogant. Mm. Like, okay, it's not something feel some remorse. About. Yeah, feel some remorse. Be remorseful. This is a human being. Exactly, yeah. yeah. You are human. Mm -hmm. And then, making matters worse, Uja Matuligonga, alipitona boda ingine ju. Because now, you know, it has happened. Matters so may go off, mm -hmm. you know. And things happen so fast. So, an oncoming now motorbike, hai kuriyarez kuna mtu hapo. So, ilikuja pia ime. Mm -hmm. That guy ended up breaking. Actually, it's a man, an old man. I ended up to break Mbuyake three times. Yeah, it was that bad. It was that bad. Wow. So now we went for the procedures, the Makarao and all that to Kamaliza. When the sister came, I remember that very well. Alikuja Kaniliza, what has happened? Nikamwambia. Uh, like me, nikuwa nimeka back seat, nikasikia tu. Unajua vile adini ambia? Mm. Ah, I know my brother. Ni yako kwa makosa. Haya. Like, hizo ni zile maspindu zake. Na KRS is not strange. I'm like, mm. is there anything that you guys are not telling me? I mean, at all cost you would protect your brother. Yeah? So, apa ndiyo nilianza kukuhawe kusasa na wala. Mm. Ah, apana. I think something is not adding up. Mm -hmm. Okay, I brushed it off. Tukamaliza kesi, gari, kachwa, nini, kwa station, and then we proceeded mm. now home. Vile tulienda home, the foreign day, alikuwa sasa na nyambia nchukue the phone, nitume. Okay, I think at some point we were transparent. Mm -hmm. But I think it's because he knew I never knew how to operate an iPhone or something, because he had one. So I would just use his phone if I want to. So he told me to take something, and I don't, I don't know what I was sending, so I took. And then now, I'm going to send the, the message to the person he had requested me to on WhatsApp. That's where I get. Anatuma pita ya gari kwa baby mama. Because I knew the name of the kid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Making matters worse, this is not even the first photo he is sending. Akiwa quarantine, wakifanyiwa PCR test, alikuwa na mtumia. This is a person when you are for five years, we have, have not, not been in communication. The relationship died. That raised eyebrows. Mm. And I started now being keen on him. Because there is no way you will tell me we are not communicating and then I just send you a photo. Asking him on that, because I remember it, it hurt me. Why did you send or what was the reason of sending the car? to so and so. Mm. Ati, I wanted the kids to be shown. <laughs> what does that tell you? The kids that he's talking about, the first one at that time was 10 years old. 10 or 11. Mm. How do you send an accident scene to a kid who is 10 years old? Like, does it even mm. make sense? Is it not going to traumatize the kids? The, the little girl, because now or later with time I never told you, I came to realize the baby mama never had one kid, but had two kids from him. But he only said he has one. But he only mentioned one. Uh -huh. So this came now to my knowledge after I, I was called working. for a meeting mm -hmm. by the pastor now in a certain hotel. Not even in an office. Oh wait, in that was after hotel. the wedding though? No, before now they went. Mm. And I was told, do you know that he had bra 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 bra? And because I was into this guy, I was like, okay, it's one fine. or two. Okay, it's fine. Let me just brush it off. That was another red flag that I ignored. Mm. Yeah. So I got mad mm. about him sending the photos. And I was like, ah, no, I think this, this must come to an end. Mm. I called the elder. <laughs> elder. Church elder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To tell him what was happening, mm. and he referred me to another person. Talk to this and this person. Mm. So I called that mama. I told her, this is what is happening with your son. Kindly, 
check it out because I don't think these are good traits. Akaniambia atamuongelesha. Na mimi nikadhani ime. But if you die now, it's just now corona ikakuja ikapungua kiasi. Vile ilipungua kiasi mm. wakaandikiwa emails wakaambiwa that uh, the management is going to organize on how they are going to go back to work. And that was fine by me so nikamwambia si usually come after every two months that's okay by me yeah. we are going to manage to it work. Yeah, we are going to manage mm. and so we never had a problem with that work. nilikuwa nimemwambia na tukakubaliana mm. we should not get a baby in the first year the first cause is working outside the country to stable rice kwanza and then kitu kingine mm-hmm. because i love traveling kwanza tukwe tume travel we henda nini ya kuwa tumeenda um, US oh. i wanted to go to US mm. so Uh, like to travel kwanza we have the adventure to yeah. the two of us because when the baby comes of course and I'm going to start to convince you so that you are not limitations i am come on be to it okay hmm. so the lady now can you be ah kama mliko umeongea basi you can go ahead unini we would protect wewe that's how i ended up going to hospital nikaeka no plant kwa kwa no plant i remember going back home that day hey si ari nikasirikia what si ari kasirika Okay niliona makosa cause yes we talked tukasema wewe ni unafaa ushughulikie so mimi nilikuwa namwambia niliona ushughuliki so nika decide ku kufanya hivi akaniuliza mbona when you decided you never consulted me nikamwambia then I'm sorry unaona okay ikaisha hivyo mm. tukai brush off ikaisha hivyo so now hapa niko protected mimi maisha ikaendelea nikaanza tu remember this is the first month and all issues yani ilikuwa baggage after baggage after baggage mm. i wasn't like it ile mtu sema it you enjoyed even a single month of the whatever mm. yeah, i never did ilikuwa issue after issue after issue na differences haziko kila kitu anataka ni yeye like to say any financial maybe decision ana make eh? alikuwa anataka it okay from him na hata akikuja akuulize maoni mm. finally conclusion ni yake we utatoa maoni sikatai but conclusion itakuwa ya nani final yeah. decision yeah. yeah final decision ilikuanga yake mm-hmm. so i remember now talking and uh, like we, we just trying to shape up things ile ya kujiambia and especially from my side nilikuwa naona i think it's because it's a new thing we are not used to this you know changes comes with some kind of friction eh? mm. so i thought tuna friction na yeye you seem to tumezoeana but maybe with time it will work out yeah. it will die no things will even get worse So now we get to a point where he's going now back and he went by the way. Mm-hmm. And being the the good wife that I was, mm-hmm. I took him to the airport with him goodbye and everything and he went. So after going now communications come to ndao kama kawaida the team, the Skype the whatever mm-hmm. and it was it was good. Like okay, relating with him akiwa mbali it was good because ili kuna naro chances za kuko sana mm. unaona mm. but still it was happening see taiko ina happen ni the kind of people if i call you you don't pick the phone you have to explain mm-hmm. so that so mm. it continued for quite some time but then ika fika point and then he was like i don't think whatever we're doing is healthy so you have to come over mm-hmm. Mambia, but i can't come to dubai just like that without even having a job at nini nini because nimeanzisha kare ka biashara mm. kenyu nilipata nako niko na kazi niko employed let me work things from that nini revel and then if changes comes maybe baadaye tutajua vile tutajust yeah. akaniambia hapana na nakukujia so ikakala ika na insist sasa he started now telling me by the way you should start preparing on how you're going to give your resignation later I'm like but why I remember there was one particular day those guys that I was working with can attest ali nipigia simu we talked for like a whole hour on call no job na niko job okay thankfully my job was flexible so ukiwa na mtu akukushikilia i was okay mm. nilienda na huko karibu na mawashrooms i talked for like a whole hour and that's where i met i met now a, a guy who was like is that your hubby you're talking to mm. why should he insist on you going what a job na what a biashara mm. like who does that personally i would be happy when my wife is employed akona means zake za kupata do hani dishi mm. unaona hey mimi nikamwambia this is getting now tough i talked to mom for the first time nikamwambia mimi kuna issue so and so amekuwa akisort na anazisort in ways that i'm feeling uncomfortable mm. like no ananiambia niache kazi niende yeah, akaniambia hata mimi yoku acha kazi hapa mm. don't 
So now the guy is a master planner. Anaka chini anaku designia plan na unaingia box. So one particular day akaniambia hata kuna msichana walikuwa naongea na yeye and they want to work on how I'm going to get a job in Dubai. In Dubai. So I say if I'm going to get a job well and good then I'll be fine. Yeah. Because with me, I'm going to get a job and I'm going to get a I come to Dubai. Mm. So now, on the condition that kutakuwa na kazi, I started giving in out to going to Dubai. Remember, si eti nimechukia Dubai. Dubai is a place that I've never wanted to, mm-hmm. be, to visit. Mm-hmm. So it was an opportunity only that I never wanted to go just like a housewife. You know, I wanted to go maybe be working, be doing something. Mm. So we start talking. Ni kama ambio ke nita resign yes. Aya, niambie job tutaachia nani? Akaniambia job, mm-hmm. another mistake roading. Job vile tutafanya, utatafuta msichana wa kazi and then tutaachia my sister in law mm-hmm. dia ta manage. Mm-hmm. Don't fall for that scam. Scandal. Scam. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Yon's> scam. <laughs> so, mimi nika nikapingana na hiyo idea but akaniambia, "Oh, she has been managing my mother's businesses from the time she nini?" she died bra 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 kwani yako ndio atashindwa ku manage mm, who do you think you are uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> ama you the one is working in a yeah. multi million company mm-hmm. so me i gave in somehow but then i was like hey, we need to be checking on them frequently tafadhali mm-hmm. akaniambia it's okay so is your job ikakuwa iko addressed so finally nikaacha job alafu nikafanywa a very emotional and yeah. very successful fellow a very yani i thank god for those people they are just amazing mm. it was an, a, a wonderful team so wakanifanyia farewell and uh, that's how now i left the company and leaving the company now mm. i went to organize on how to go to dubai nika enda one uh, saturday to nairobi west for pcl dio sasa niku ready for the flight shetani ni nani a day to taking the flight flights are cancelled again hakuna tra- hakuna flights mm. so i can't travel eh hiyo usiku nayo niliria mm-hmm. nikashindwa nimeacha job niko na msichana wa job uh-huh. so sitaenda kwangu kazini so what will i do i can't just dismiss somebody mm-hmm. from work just like that you know at least i should give notice yes but it's not also fair why why am i you know chasing her she's never been indisciplined or something But let me tell you something. God works in miraculous ways. So what happened? I just decided let me just stay at home, get to relax, get to you know, reflect on a few things. And so one day I was like, msichana akaniomba ruhusa akaenda somewhere. Nikaenda tu kwa shop. And I discovered crazy things. Msichana alikuwa na line yake ya Mpesa. So si yangu inafanya. So si yangu inafanya. Msichana kama ni receipt actually I have those receipts up to date ndio in case mtu aseme na mwaribia jina I have evidence like receipt number 5 kuna hiyo the yenye customer hubeba na yenye wacha kwa shop yenye customer hubeba was very different from yenye kwa kwa shop because I got a customer akakuja akaniambia ari buy a device from us na haiko sawa so si nikamwambia kindly help me the receipt ndio nikupeleke calcare my goodness I'm trying to trace it from my books. Haiko. Haiko. Nikaambia to customer nao, I don't know how I can help you. Just okay, like carry your own receipt, nitakuelezea kalkia kwenye iko utasaidika. But now sitaweza kuifuatilia kwa si kama hata device yangu. You know, but the customer was understanding to so vizuri I called from the calcia na akasaidika mm. and that was it. So that was Then some, another came mm, mm. but now the phone was not original. So singe msaidia na calcia. Ah nikaona hizi cases they too much. So I was like let me try to inquire from the neighbors what has been happening. So mmoja sasa ndiye alikuwa ananiambia mimi hata kwako pesa na yake yangu na hii inasomanga hivi I'm like in ya wapi? Mm. Kwangu how? Kamuliza are you sure? Yes. So that's how now I ended up dismissing that lady ni kamwambia tu. Tu tu. Yeah, acha acha tu just go look for another place. For now acha tu nishikilie biashara yangu. Mm. So now that's how I ended up going back to mm. my business. Mm. So nikajifanyia for quite some time. Now awaiting ndege zifunguliwe kwa si job nimeambiwa imepatika mm. ni ofareta na ngoja. So nikaangoja ndio kufunguliwe niende. So we went to Dubai 
it was on Valentine's, I remember. Friday to Ilikuwa ya usiku, tukaenda Dubai. And on arrival, nikaambiwa story ya job ilikuwa scam. Walikoniwa. Umeata kazi? Umeata biyashara? Umeata biyashara? Ada management ya nyata huwelewi? Here you come, it was a scam. On the first day? Okay, not 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 the first day, because mm. of course after kufika kuna hizo uma kuchoka nini, mm. so you get to rest. Eh? But now after resting, is when you're getting all this information. Na siya ananiambia iti, you know, mtu anawana umefika so anakuambia. Ni mimi nakaa first day, naona siambiwi anything, second day siambiwi anything, na muliza kwani njo. Ni taanza lini, or what are they saying? Mm. Where is the letter I see it? Nini nini? Niambiwa, it was a scam. Tunikoniwa. Tilakini kwani ulikuwa na thani ni mjanja sana. Yeah, that's what I was asked. Kama nilikuwa na thani mini mjanja sana. Si, ame manetu kuliwini? Yeah. So, utakuwa house, wa housewife? Yeah, housewife. Yes. Na sasa, maisha ya housewife, ikaanza hapo. So, you're mm-hmm. in the house alone. This guy is now living you in the house and going yeah. to work. Yeah. What are you doing with your time? You're disappointed, of course. Your job is not there anymore. Yeah. So, what do you do? Mm-hmm. I'm just indoors. Kazi ni online. That's where now I became a full fan and uh, nini of Tuko. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate yeah. your support. <laughs> And a uh, big and great fan of us all in Gogi Show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's my one of the my favorites actually. Nice. And so, sasa kazi kakuwa ni, nikiwa mchana ni watching those stories, mm-hmm. watching those stories. And I remember him when he comes from work, akipata niki watch his story, maybe others, unajua zina kwanga emotional. Yeah. So maybe you cry as you watch, yeah. So siku moja anakuja na nipata niki watch and he's furious. What kind of content is this you are watching? Oh, so are you mm-hmm. planning to leave me one day? Yeah. And so he's like, can you start watching from pastor so and so, so and so, you know? Yeah, that is it. So much happened, that's what I would say. Mm-hmm. But there are some things that maybe I would like to mention mm-hmm. for the sake of the person who is watching us. <coughs> because there are some things that you just suffer in silence, yeah. but it's good to speak out. Uh, there is this one particular day that we are just in the kitchen just doing some few things over there we had a dining uh, table in the kitchen it was a big kitchen mm. so once we were there we were sharing his phone because i was using it to communicate to somebody mm. who is in uh, in kenya and uh when we were communicating a message pops and this message is a weird one because it's of a woman who is asking for money to buy textbooks and mark you at this point i now know the baby mama yeah yeah and the two kids and i'm okay and we agreed that this is the way forward yeah mm-hmm. so I'm, I'm worried and because now i'm the one who is holding the phone he's in that direction i'm in this direction i take advantage and scroll mm-hmm. you know then after scrolling i i get even it's now mm-hmm, things are mm-hmm. deeper mm-hmm. than i thought so these are people who are communicating and in the conversation, this guy is referring the lady to Mrs. his name. Wow. Yes. Unona like now for instance, the guy is Joroge. So he's uh, saying hi to the, uh, to the lady, Mrs. Joroge. Hi, Mrs. Joroge. Yes. And referring to the kid as Miss Joroge. You know? Because I saw a comment on a status photo that was put by the lady. Mm-hmm. So the guy commented down there that miss, miss and misses his name. Looking lovely. Wow. Yeah. So here now comes shock because there is this other woman. The one that I know. The one that even villagers know. That, that is what I would say. The one that even the church knows. Because the church mentioned it to me. You know. But now here comes another one. What is happening? Then there are some there were some voice notes. Mm-hmm. So I opened and on hearing that voice you would tell that he was shocked. Yeah, because now apparently uh, he knew that I had the truth because it was just a moment of silence, you know? I looked at all that conversation and then I played the voice note for him to hear that you And then I was I asked him, "Who is this?" And then instead of answering me, he told me, give me my phone. 
<sighs> I was like, no, I'm not giving it to you. Just tell me who is this. Mm -hmm. So he gets mad from that point. Yeah. I go to the house, to the bedroom, rock myself with now his phone. Yeah. Because I was in denial. Mm -hmm. I was asking myself, how, why, you know, what is wrong with this guy? Mm -hmm. Another kid? No, this can't be true. Who was chatting with this phone? You know, you are not. Yeah, you, you are, even yeah. Have excuses. <laughs> you know. So I got in the room, he was there knocking and saying that he can, you know, uh, open the door with whatever. It was just mm -hmm. terrible. Mm -hmm. So after some moments, that when now I opened the, the door and gave him his phone. Mm -hmm. But he was so furious and pushed me to the wall. And I was hit uh, this part. Eh? Mm -hmm. So ikakuwa yani nika, nika you know. Mm -hmm. well, so akanza kuni push then the that the room that uh, i got in eh, mm -hmm. kuna vitu nilikuwa nanunua ndio nikikuja nazo in kenya ni kuje za kuweka the other house mm -hmm. so we were buying them na tunaziput uh, some nini ka space kalikuwa hapo so he happened to push me nikaangukia hizo vitu and he, he, he did it so you know without mercy because even after falling unaona vile mtu regret anakuja kukuchukua he never did he walked out akaniacha na huko so vitu zikatapaka nilikuwa na vyombo zika break break you know then aka knife aka knife kakukata actually hakawezi atakata mua ni maybe tu tu vitu tu tudogo tudogo eh mm. a very small ka knife so kaka happen kuingia chini ya kitanda so when he came i don't know what what he was looking for when now he came back eh? so me i was just there crying he came and found the ka knife you know what statement he made mm. that i wanted to kill him that's why eh, nimeficha kisu chini ya kitanda where you can see it if you had hide, yes. if you were hiding it too, yeah where would you keep it so there? to me i never even questioned that way mm -hmm. it clicked my mind eh? if he has never thought of doing it to me why should such a thought mm, cross, his mind. cross his mind you know but i was like it's okay since that was not my intention i'm not going to tell you anything so i just walked out so walking out, there were uh, people who were living with us in the same house. Eh? So uh, that couple was a pa nini, wa pa they, they were pastors. So now my ex hubby walks out and he's like, Ah, Papa, we were calling now the guy, Papa. Mm -hmm. Papa, look at this woman. Mm -hmm. For once, I felt so disrespected. You know, so disrespected. Ati Papa, uona uyu mwanamuke, sasa nanikasirikia juu ya mtoto wangu. That is the comment he made. And Mark you, Yvonne, this is a kid I never knew existed. Okay, fine. Siezi kasirika juu ya mtoto ama ni mchukie because the kid is innocent here. But then, you are married for God's sake. Yes, this is your past because I understand the kid was nine years old that time. Eh? But then, why should you handle me in such a way? You know? So it became a case. Tukakaa chini, tukaungeleshwa. I remember being all tears, all that. But then, the pastor, just like, you know, we have normalized yeah watu kukuwa abused in marriages niliambiwa ni, nivumilie na that is not an issue that even get, should get to my parents so me i went mute na hiyo story kaisha but i talked to his sister a good friend of mine she was very friendly and very like very understanding nikamwambia na akaniambia mimi wewe brothangu i don't know what is the problem but just know how to deal with it because now you are far from us we can't help you know and we end, and we did end it at that now after that now surprise of baby number three it came another instance now this is what broke me this broke me to pieces one particular day he started going for gym yeah so when he was going for gym i'm in the house you know i'm just doing the normal chores in the house and everything mm. so i love cooking so much so that particular day i was missing to take pancakes so i prepared some pancakes mm -hmm. and then for him because now he's avoiding those are uh, you know fatty fatty things eh? amani oily mm -hmm. so i had prepared some cassava for him without now deep frying so when he came he was like ah i can take a pancake as well so vile alichukua pancake aliniambia nimpatirishie serviette aitoe mafuta so me, I went to the kitchen and I was like, ah, instead of doing what you're doing, just avoid the oily things for now. After we are back to what you want, you can now go back to taking what you want. Mm. Then, ako zile za wea chana na mimi. It's like yani, tulikuwa tunakamaisha ni kama tumetegana. Unona? Mm. Like you are walking in eggshells, you know? You don't want to just say anything because it has a burst out. Mm. So, alipika fight from just... <laughs> 
a stupid thing is that. Yeah. Yeah. So mimi nikamwambia instead of doing that kuna kasava yako. You eat that actually at a pancake siku anadhani utakula but anyway if you want to eat it so it's okay. Mm. Alienda akigongesha mirango ya microwave akiwom sasa the the cassava yake akisema hata nisiwai mpikia sijui nini you know and then now because the woman now uh, the wife to the pastor was from Cameroon mm. she never understood Swahili. So every time he was quarreling me he wouldn't do it in English. He was doing it in Swahili that this woman and the hubby were not understanding. Mm. Yes. So the mama was like, okay, just leave him alone, he will cool down. Now, the guy walks out of the kitchen, goes to the bedroom. Two minutes after, he puts a WhatsApp status. And this is now what like Sijai Amini like he did so. He quoted a Bible verse. Actually, he really make like a memory verse. It's in the book of Hosea 9:11 onwards to is it 1415 15? yeah mm-hmm. hapo and do you know what that uh, context of the bible says mm-hmm. that he he's wishing me a miscarrying womb mm-hmm. he's wishing me dry breasts yeah you can read it you'll see yeah at because he hates me or he hates us he will drive me away from his house That's what the Bible says because it's talking of um, God being angry, you know. And then this person is asking, so God, what do you give them? Give them dry breasts, give them miscarrying wombs because I hate them. I love them no more. I'll drive them away from my yeah. So at this point, this breaks me because I remember praying and fasting for me to go, uh, for me to conceive. Because when I was going to Dubai uh, as I mentioned earlier nilikuwa nimefanya family planning mm-hmm. but now imefika point I'm going to Dubai so what is the family planning for mm-hmm. masiku bado zinaenda so why don't I just remove nienda ndio nipate nini mtoto mm-hmm. but let me tell you something god sees even what we cannot see with our bare eyes mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. so mimi nilienda like nikaitoa So when I was going to Dubai siku on, on, on any family planning. Mm. So ilifika point to make a mwezi wa kwanza wa pili wa tatu wa nne sija conceive. So I started praying to God to bless me with a kid nini nini. Where well, prayer and fasting. And to some extent we even um, consulted a doctor who advised me on taking some tablets to pregnant care before mm. uh, for preconception yeah mm. to On, on, uh, to balance the hormones so that I would be able to conceive mm. and let me tell you even with all that I never conceived I never did mm-hmm. only for things to get now worse at night this is a person who will abuse you but at night still wants the rights uh-huh as he wants his rights as if nothing happened so i remember that night tukibishana tu nikamwambia hebu nikuulize How would you insult me and expect me to be stable in bed? Like how? You know, um it has affected me. Yeah. yeah? Mm. You know for a woman it's a very different scenario from a man. Mm. Yeah? You'll just be turned on but then for a lady it, sta- it has to start from the mind. Mm-hmm. So me I'm not even there mentally. What makes you think I'm ready for you? And then he was there telling me and I quote kuna matako mingi sana huko nje. That's what he told. And this is a person mwenye alikuchukua akakupeleka kwa madhabahu without your consent to make vows. Mhm. Force you to leave the country. Yes. Uh-huh. Scam you on the job and then tell you kuna matako mingi sana huko nje. And to add salt to the injury, ati hata sikwangi mtamu kwa bed. <laughs> okay, I laugh at it today because you know, but why is it um, this thing then? I don't know. Anyway. Wow. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to say but uh he said so. And so I told him fine. So for the two years hujaijua umejua leo. Mhm. What make you cling to me if you know that I'm not sweet? What? Mhm. That's a business you would have crossed even before the vows. The yeah, even before we left the country. What makes you just stick to me? Yeah. And it became so crazy the guy started making eyes and then <laughs> he happened to me would call it rape because it was without my consent yes he forced himself he did yeah 
I wasn't prepared, I wasn't ready for him, but he did it. And I remember crying. When he was in the act, I remember crying. So to me, that is good as rape, you know. Yeah. We're not crying to the eye, Yapana. So, yeah. Um, so, the guy did it. I'm there, uh, niko kwa bed. Nimerala tu nimeangaria kwa ceiling, you know. I'm like, I'm full of questions. Why? Yeah. Uh, Yvonne, start to cool here, We are not crying on this one. Sit to me overcome. I'm healed. But take <sighs> yeah. your time, be yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Sakumi Usiku, I don't know where I got that strength from. Me, I just felt something to me and apana. I, I will not because all around sikuwa ni medoz. Na sayo ya alimaliza vile alikuwa nafanya na asha doz. Eh, it's nothing to him. Mm-hmm. Hata kulia ni lilia ni kambiwa ni talialia. Yeah, and he slept. So, me at four o'clock, I walk out. I don't know where I'm going, but I just walk out. Yeah, but then there was a friend I had been introduced to by the name Doris Akino Udem. God do I'm blessed. She was my angel when I was in Dubai. So me, I walk out, go to the rift, araka, araka, nikaenda kwa huyo day musiku. So when I, when I went to the lady, after I rang the bell, alikuja tu. Yani by the look of things, and because nikuwa nime brief on, mambo zilikuwa zimefanyika, mm-hmm. and apparently, he, she had mentioned something about the guy being arrogant. Yeah, alikuwa memjua jua. He was like, where? You are so humble for this guy, you know? And this is a stranger you are meeting, eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then, when uh, she opened the door, she was like, me, I know you are not okay. Just come in. Nika ingia, haka nipea place, nika doz, haka nipea branketi. Haka mm. nisa, have you eaten? Nika wambia, yeah, I'm okay. Are you sure? Mm. Yes. Sawa. Pumzika kwanza. And that's what uh, she did. So, hali nipea time, nika relax, nika sikia, niko sawa, ndiyo nyeze kuongea. Mm. So, now in the morning, tukaanza kuongea. So I told her what I was going through and Makiu nilikuwa nime muambia muambia cause I was avoiding his scenario ya yeah? every other time I'm calling relatives to tell them this is what is happening. You know you want to protect your marriage at the end of the day eh? mm. You're calling your mom nini nini. And did I mention this guy had a habit? Huh? He's a very important point I, I, I missed eh? mm. uh, This guy eh? every time he would have an issue he would call my mom. At some point I remember nikimuuliza Kwani unataka kuwa mamangu? Because every other thing, my mom, Karo has done this, Karo has done that. And I remember wakati nilitumia family planning. He called my dad. Uh, no. Yes, he called my dad. What business is you discussing with your father? Should I say dad hates him? Mm-hmm. Because he's like, what kind of a person is this? Yes, he called dad at he Nowadays, na behave in funny ways, na niko na attitude, na hii attitude naambiwa. By the way, people, can we normalize not calling people crazy after they react to us abusing them? You cannot just abuse somebody, you treat them bad, and then you call them crazy. Mm, yeah? When they react. Yeah, when they react. You don't expect me not to react, you know? Mm. So, mimi alikuwa na nifanyia kitu, niki react now he calls my parents. This is what she's doing. Mm. I, I, at, I believe at the effect ya hizo madawa. I remember asking him, ni effect ya madawa. How many women outside here have done family planning? Mm-hmm. So you want to tell me every office you get to, you will not be addressed, your issue will not be addressed because the woman, eh, akona attitude because akona family planning. I mean, you are running, but you lack some wisdom. Yeah? So me, I started uh, kunini, eh? Kuku dig deep on knowing this kind of character. And every other time I would check, ingeniretea jina narcissist. So nikaanza kujuliza, what is narcissist? Mm-hmm. Narcissism ni nini? And I got interested because whoezi Google mara ya kwanza, usachi ya pili, ya tatu, ya nene na inakuletea the same. Yeah. If it's not narcissist, it's narcissism. I'm like, apana, I need to know about this. And let me tell you, when I started now digging, mm-hmm. Dio nilikuja nikaona hai yae, kumbe, this is it. I think this is a nini a narcissist. Yeah? So nikaanza kuanalyze tabia zake. Ana, nini, the narcissist are, are, are arrogant. Huh? Nikaangalia. Same thing. He was arrogant. Mm-hmm. 
I came also to realize that they have a chain of you know relationships then yeah has it worked in the past and that is exactly what had happened mm. because now at this moment remember we have two baby mamas yeah three kids two baby mamas you know mm. that's a chain ju kuna wengine si ta mention cosina evidence i'm confident on this because at uh, i came to realize alikuwa na walipia ma school fees na nini na that was behind my back mimi mm. nakosa pesa ya kufanya kitu actually ukiona picha zangu nikiwa dubai hata siku anakaa venye niko sai sorry to say So now I start planning on my exit and start researching on how to handle a narcissist. Na hiyo ndio ilinisaidia. Because at some point niliona if you want to be at peace with them, usingangane na wao. So wakunja niambie mimi ni mjinga. I will not prove it. Mimi ni mjinga as you say. Yes. Akunja niambie ABCD. I will not argue. It is okay. Unaona? Number three, usiache ajue move yako ni gani. That's what I did. So me I maintained nikanyamaza tu. Yeah, I was just quiet. So time went by and by and so now I decided I'm just coming back to to the country. So I tell him hizi mambo mimi naona zime zime occupy the the biggest part of me and I want just to have some space. Akaniambia hakuna mahali unaenda. Yes, aliniambia hakuna mahali naenda. So tukangangana tukangangana akakataa na akakataa kabisa. So now here at this point I started opening up to my mom. After ku kuwa open to my mom, sijui ali sense I'm communicating ama aje. He started now kunifuatilia even kwa chat and everything. Yeah. Hapa sasa nini tulikuwa so cold to one each other because I already know who I'm dealing with. I already know what he can do because sasa mtu akianza kukugongesha kwa ukuta mtu anakuangusha obvio obvio he's even beating you like i had some black spots what do we call them bruises or something yeah i had them mama tamara was a witness yes i, I had some people in the house when that happened nilikuwa namuonyesha and uh, she was like no i don't want you to become a statistic yeah it's the high time you act mm. eh yeah. Na mama Tamara and your hubby God our blessed to sana. They were so so supportive emotionally walisimama na mimi. At least they understood what. Okay, they never advised me on what to do, but they were really there for me. At least they support. They did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they did support me. So, so what was the the thing that made you, you know, mm-hmm. call it quits and how did you go about it? Uh the reason is to why I called it quits. Eh? I came to realize I'm nothing to this person because he came to a point he wanted us to kutoka kwa ile nyumba tulikuwa tunakaa twende kwa smaller house ndio wa save you know needs like alikuwa na financial crisis na hakuwa ananiambia na ile nyumba ananipeleka hadi kutani ilikuwa shida tu kwa tupitane watu wawili where we are from a big house to a smaller house and even giving my opinions they were never considered Living that alone when it came to home and kitchen appliances and all that because we were building mimi hakuna opinion yangu ali take by the way hakuna hata moja so ning angeniuliza ungetaka hii na kaaje na mwambie ningetaka inakaa hivi na hivi angeleta tu reason ya kuonyesha what you have said is just useless i don't need your opinions we are going for this mm-hmm. so nikafika two point nikaona hii haiwezi you know However much I want to be good to him, however much I be submissive and even give myself holy, hakuna kitu inaweza fanyika hapa. And then remember I'm researching on narcissism mm. peer and I saw somewhere the only remedy is quitting. Yeah. The only remedy. And if you are there you are going through that. It's the high time you know that. Hakuna vile uta change mtu amekaa miaka thate akiwa peke yake ama 40 ati sasa ikwe ni wewe utaenda kumbadilisha. It will never happen. And buying time at uki uh, like imagine itakuja ku change it will never change. Mm. Actually if it changes maybe from bad to worse and from worse to worse. Because in my case that's what happened. Mm. The first year I was buying time nikidhani mambo itabadilika. Remember this is a person who was advanced in age kuniliko mm. so nilikuwa naona ama maybe ni mimi niko na utoto you know you try oh, to fit in. Sense. Yeah yes you do. This person treats you so mercilessly had you na feel ni wewe tu inadequate ni wewe hautoshi mboga yeah mm. you are the one who is not wa class yake so the first year i used it to give all and all just to fit mm-hmm. just it to fit it never worked 
so it just came to a point i was so hurt to an extent that i just went, wanted to go away and did i mention that at some point i was suicidal yes i was i was because now things were too too much for me nimesema amekata kunilipia ticket back you know i can't mm -hmm. i can't so ilifika to place nika wish to niende kwa nini ni drone you know in easy beach in dubai there are so many beaches and i, I even have a car recording nilikuwa nako nilikuwa ni make nikiambia my dad and mom what i've decided to do because of abcd yeah yeah because that particular day it was an emotional day yeah so he kwa time ya corona and then people were like so cautious so mimi <laughs> Well, this was now towards the last uh, the, the last nini times ndio nikuje sasa niamue coming back eh vile alikataa kunilipia pesa remember the business is still uh, on nini eh? in progress but ni vile haifanyi vizuri cause you know when you're not managing your business this is prone to happen so me i say that mtu mmoja anitumie pesa huku ndio niende nifanye PCR test and then i have friends who are very supportive aki god our blessed and because in one hour they were ready to raise 70000 for me to come back yeah yeah to pay for my ticket so i said if that is happening let me pay for my PCR but let me tell you kai misfortunes zinakujanga zimefuatana ni kama zimeitwa mm. i went for PCR test huu ni mtu anaishingi kwa nyumba 24/7 ati nikaambiwa niko na corona so there is a certain place eh? near a bridge that was called Ansal Mall ni kwa nafikiria nikienda hapo nipite of which mtu haruhusiwi kupita hapo definitely hakuna gari itanimis itakuja kama imepita na mimi but then that was not a very good option because what if nikose kukufa nitaachwa nikiwa crippled that is what now was running through my mind mm -hmm. and i never wanted to be a burden to the people who loved and cared for me so i was like let me go to the beach and that's how i ended up now going to the beach mm -hmm. but thankfully ile tu unapata tu concerns na kwambia hivi so it was a fight you know between what i want and what i'm feeling mm -hmm. but then what i was feeling overcame and i ended up not doing anything i instead went back to the house mm -hmm. but i called my dad very emotional nikamwambia dadi sasa it's either you choose between me or uh, nini, uh, you know all my dead body yeah. and then he was like no give me that guy i want to talk to him when he was so mad so my mom intervened uh, akaongea na dad akam cool down and all that but then mom told me i want to talk to so and so because i want to know the plans that he has so they talked to him because my my flight back was cancelled like three times every time he's giving me excuses mm -hmm. he happened to work with uh, Emirates that is an in ya whatever mm -hmm. freight company eh? so every time niki travel under his name ninge travel kwa na staff ticket they are called staff tickets mm -hmm. so unaona sasa mimi sijui how they work because he is the one with the staff there mm -hmm. so alikuwa na letter excuses no we can't do this because of abcd three good times mm -hmm. so i remember the first one it never worked after going for pcr uh, i katoka negative mm -hmm. I I was in denial also about that so nikarash kufanya ya pili ikatoka inconclusive so singe travel pia inconclusive ni nini they wanted either positive or negative so now on to the third time ndio ikakuwa iko sawa yeah iko negative that i can travel so when now mom talked to this guy and dad also because it was through a video call they talked and then dad was like no just tell me when my girl is coming back and i want her in one piece the rest can wait i just want her home mm -hmm. that is now where he was convinced enough to pay the ticket and yes he did and i traveled back on august at that point when you're leaving him mm -hmm. you didn't know you you're leaving for good that the marriage has ended am i mm -hmm. to trick him that i'm coming back i was to trick him okay. reason being eh, mm -hmm. uh remember i'm researching about narcissism yes. eh? And one thing that you should do when you are leaving a narcissist you shouldn't you shouldn't tell them because this is not something they are happy about mm. unaenda wapi they feed on you mm. you know when you are crying you ndio ina satisfy ego yao unaona mm. so unamwambia unaenda alafu he can even do something to you unaona mm. so i had to play cool but though we had some issues because uh niko isolated in the room now because it was after immediately after i went for the test all through mm. nilikuwa kwa nyumba eh so this time ati ni, ni kwa isolated but he would sneak in the house in the room that i was akuje ku have sex na mimi and then i go back to 
watu bado you know so me what i did i was just there i was just a toy you know to him yeah yeah nikanunuliwa ka suitcase kadogo so that's how i took my flight back mm-hmm. and shock uh, came because uh, you are flying back to the country and from the airport hata aku anashughulika utatoka airport aje he never bothered but thankfully i have a a friend who volunteered to kuja kun actually walikuwa wanataka ikuwe convoy Aww. i had five friends with five cars wote walikuwa wanasema tunakukujia but then nikawaambia i don't think there is need for that but nilikuwa na avoid cuz imagine nimekonda nini mm. i remember my sister crying in the airport vile tu aliniona ati kwani ulikuwa umebakisha tu sauti hivyo tu ndivyo atiniuli because now my voice had not changed but me oh god it was a struggle so you uh. come back to kenya yeah. and you're sure sure this marriage has ended yeah to me i was sure mm-hmm. yeah so what steps did you take to mm-hmm. like heal mm-hmm. pick up your pieces and mm-hmm. try and move forward uh before i get to the point of mm-hmm. maybe moving forward eh? mm-hmm. what i did i came and directly went home that's what i did and after i i arrived home i remember my mother was so disturbed mm-hmm. when they, she was so even shocked to see me and mark you after not seeing me for more than 8 months mm-hmm. mama kunisalimia vile nilifika hakunisalimia alijishika tu hivi na akaenda okay coming to now ask her afterwards that's when she was saying that nilikuwa na kaa nimeisha hata sikuwa kama mimi so i think it didn't hit mm-hmm. hakunisalimia she left and then from there now stigma ikaanza from home the society at large you know people who are close to you and all that yeah everybody ya kozile za kwani uliamua kwenda gym wapi mtoto you know, hey god where because okay. hey, that's emotional you know i think the society iko na so high expectations ama ni kama wana kuwekea limits or something mm. and if you're not careful about that kind of pressure inaweza ku crash vibaya sana because when i went to dubai i'm married so everybody expects you to come back with either you're pregnant or you have a baby and how i wish people would avoid asking sensitive questions yeah because you know i also had got to a point of doubting myself kama niko sawa i remember going even for checkups whether i could i can get a baby yeah because i'm of age everybody expects that you should be having a baby at this point you know and you don't So people are even giving false accusations ama maybe she's barren you know mm-hmm. na inaongewa na inakufikia so it crashes you mm-hmm. but all in all I have a very strong mom and uh, that woman is a warrior yeah she helped me through so nikafika tukaongea but pia we started differing mm-hmm. somehow somehow we started differing because she was like we sasa umepanga hivi because I told her of my plans I never explained I told her of the conclusion mm-hmm. because I was so I had so much weight on whatever was happening so I wasn't ready to talk I just wanted to be ivo tu kwanza nitulie so I told mom I'm thinking of having a divorce hey it never went well with mom divorce mm-hmm. kwa nani mm-hmm. I remember her asking me tutaambia mchungaji nini oh yeah. and how I wish that parents akitu they embrace the their daughters when they come from failed marriages like marriages it's not the i don't know it's not yeah option, yeah sure to get married or not exactly and then something else i usually say you'd rather have your daughter seven sound than have her dead yeah. i just wish parents would understand that mm. yeah but i thank god to somehow to really work out with my mom so after telling her nikaona ana resist ju sasa maybe as a family walikuwa naangalia nilikuwa nimewekwa vizuri i was driving now i'm going back to matatu manenos you know i was um nilikuwa najengewa nyumba ya mawe i was in dubai you know they were counting all those things as achievements but deep down i was like why should i have all that and i, and I don't have peace of mind i'm not even happy you know So mama liko a friend of all that eh? but nika decide to since hiki tu it's heated kuna hiyo heat eh? mm. acha kwanza nimuache 
and then maybe at some point baadaye itakuja we shall revisit so <clears throat> i have also a friend of mine in embu who hosted me to her place for quite some time and then i was like my business at this point eh, it had been closed down yeah cuz management was just poor ikafika point now naingia kwa mfuko kutoa pesa ya kulipa nyumba na kulipa msichana na ikafika point i am draining even financially mm. so i decided it closed down to once unaona but thankfully akima kukuwa na mabeshte wazuri it's a blessing i want to to say thanks to uh, melvin and his wife mm. walifungua hiyo shop because they told me instead of ikai imefungwa watu washindwe what is happening tutaifungua tu tutamanage vile tutaweza yeah and just somehow niliwa trust to na whatever was there and they were so accountable wow. na wali wali yani wali ingia kwa hiyo gap na wakasimama na mimi for that moment so melvin na makena god are blessed too sana mm. yeah they are my very good friends up to date mm-hmm. so moving forward nikakuja nikaenda kwa hiyo sister ngu mkubwa she's not a brand sister mm. so vile nilienda eh hey, those guys have also been very supportive wow. Sam and Rita we mm. wameni support sana so nilienda kwao the kids were praying and they were oh. all happy nimerudi nimewaletea my presents i managed to get some gifts for them wamefurahia i'm back you know I had missed, missed me and all that. Mm. So before I noticed time ilikuwa imesonga and I had started now feeling niko mm. better. Mm. So at some point nika decide oh, I need to go ndio nijue kazi vile nitafanya. Now this was the biggest dilemma of my life. Nimetoka kwa Bwana. Hivyo ndivyo najiambia. Mm. Hii ni kazi na kazi ilikuwa karibu na kwa kwangu sasa huko kwenye nilikuwa nimeolewa. Mm. I cannot stay in my sister's place forever taki kurudi huko niuze duka nisiuze hizo sasa ndizo zile stuff zilikuwa zinaenda kwa mind yeah na hii duka unasikia imeisha had stock imeisha had pesa you know it's like i'm going to start from scratch mimi kashetani kashetani ndokele kale kashetani <laughs> but i would like to address you the kanini a small knowledge that i have eh? i would like to address something here aki watu wasikwe wana accuse watu wenye wanarudi kwa abusive marriages mm. there is something called trauma boarding nilikuja kupatana nayo on my way kufanya research and all that eh? mm. trauma boarding is when mm-hmm. you always want to go back to the abuser because not because you normal. want but exactly yeah it feels normal for you and then you've been used to abuse had you mekua what we call it nab yes Yaani wewe watu hata wakiona nje unachapo ama unatukana wewe hauoni it's not a big deal this is the, the atmosphere you are familiar like the familiar territories mm. that's what i would call it you know oh, hey, kashetani got me back unajua kwa nini ivon nilienda kazi nikapata niko na 100k ndio imebaki sina stock sina anything 100000 Aya, mnaniambia ni ah nataka kutoka. Si eti mnaniambia. Here ilikuwa me myself and I. Mm. By the way, I managed somehow somehow not to get influenced by anybody because I was avoiding mwenye nampenda ataniambia nirudi. Unaona? Mm. So nilikuwa nataka what I decide ikuwe ni from me. So, nashindwa okay, nitatoka. Nitenda wapi? Kwa rentals. Mm. Niko na pesa ya ku rent. Niko na pesa ya food. Niko na pesa ya nini? something that people should understand however much you're telling these people to get out of abusive marriages to where you know so me i'm there i'm like where well, i don't know so the only convenient thing in my mind was let me go back but on revenge mission oh. that's how i comforted myself on revenge mission so i decided i'm going back to his house nikae huko ni stabilize biashara yangu nikimdanganya na mpenda nikimdanganya we can work things out aendelee kukua dubai nijipe one year and then i call it quits mm. yeah so how next yes so that day nilienda na nikaamua na hakuna mtu niliambia mm. remember i still have his car at this point ju nilitoka nayo nairobi mm. So nikakuja nikaosha duka nika dust nikafanya kila kitu and then I went to the house. Mhm. Remember this is a house that tuja kwa for 9 months. So it's dusty, it's disorganized, is whatever, ilikuwa inajengwa kuna mchanga inaamwagika. I go 
do cleaning do cleaning do everything mm. at saa saba ndio namaliza kila kitu so i take a shower go to bed mm. and imagine what i find a text from my ex hub what are you doing in my house uh. i thought umemalizana na mimi i have those texts yeah i thought umemalizana na mimi what are you doing in my house mm-hmm. saa saba usiku sikujibu i slept the following morning naenda job na nikarudi jioni i'm same driving house. his car same house now he tells me when you are doing your things usifanyie kwangu i'm telling you that statement or that text ni kama iligonga a different nerve yenye ilikuwa imekufa ora wrong i felt bad i felt crazy name it mm. yani nili feel like it was my eye opener like am i so desperate for this actually i called oh, a friend of mine mm. why niambia can you imagine so and so ameniambia hivi na hivi na hivi like okay not even kumuuliza ni kumwambia ni kama nilikuwa na murekta yani i was like living myself yes, kupitia yeye yeah, yeah. mm-hmm. but thank god he's understanding so understanding nikamwambia una imagine akiniambia hivi na hivi hiyo si nikunisoma hiyo si nikunibeba you know yani nikuulize am i that desperate just because i don't have my own house mtu ananiambia nikifanya mambo yangu ni mambo gani hiyo ananiambia the guy just kept quiet and recent and it was so like of a therapy wow cause nili zilive kabisa mm. vile nilimaliza kuongea kaniambia where are you just come i'm coming that way i want to meet you mm. tukapatana vile tulipatana akaniangalia akaniambia look me straight to the eyes i know you are a strong woman and i know you can do this mm-hmm. do what you can do hakuna kitu aliniambia ingine but that was my turning point wow. even do you know nilikuwa natafuta nyumba vitu zikiwa kwa rori juu kwa rori juu i don't know i'm telling it was like a different nerve ilikuwa imeguzwa nilikuwa natafuta nini how and then god sent me an angel yani god akijua tu utaanguka mm. he will lay mahali tu utaangukia haizi Yaani haezi ruhusu uanguke yeah. from up there ukuje ukue hamt tena mm-hmm. hawezi kubari he's a faithful god yes. do you know somehow my house was paid the rent the deposits the everything nice. for three good months three good months i'm telling you god works in miraculous ways i was wondering about rent mm-hmm. it was paid i was wondering about food it was provided and then i was told hi nyumba unaingia uweke vitu alafu utoke go back to your sister's place mm-hmm. don't stay here kwanza enda kwa sister yako kwanza so i went back they are so welcoming they loved me they you know walinipea freedom ati unakaa kwa mtu unaulizwa hadi unajisikia kukula nini na hakuna kitu umewapelekea mm-hmm. i always gave you know options of what to be cooked in that house and never at any single point what did neglect So they showed me love nini nini na nikaanza ku heal. Mm-hmm. Yes. So before ni go back now to the other house that he rentiwa. Now you guy my guy comes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. From Dubai. Yes, from Dubai. Right. Anakuja mm-hmm. ku make things work with my wife. Which wife? Si tunatana. Uh-huh. Na kufukuzo kwa nyumba. Ai wewe si huko oh nadhani. You know, si hakuwa exactly. Hakuwa nadhani iko serious. Mhm. So when he realized that this is what I've decided to do and I'm doing it actually how did you maneuver mm. I think that's what he was coming to know Oh yes because yeah. it reflects badly on him yes. that after leaving him mm-hmm. you're not thriving alone Exactly mm. that's what happened God akasaidia kabiashara nikafungua tu nikaendelea though mm. the first first days were tough nilikuwa naenda na shindo na jiuza ama nauza oh, chenye kiko kwa duka sikuwa na stock empty shelves everywhere but I thank God the progress isn't bad mm. so the guy comes and let me tell you mm-hmm. she's kia watu daring atakuja na anipate kwa shop we sinio na niambie toka twende <laughs> karo hakutoka <laughs> nikienda wapi yeah. that time i was like i was so fierce hadi nashindwa hii energy nimetoa wapi ushijiita kama mkutano unajiuliza <laughs> Uko sawa kweli? Ikarejo imetoka. Ikarejo imetoka wapi? But I think I had been abused enough. 
mm. that nothing else counted so he comes and then at toka twende i'm like tunaenda wapi na wewe mm-hmm. so ako zile za mbona hata nakupigia simu na ushiki I was tempted to say simu ni yangu mm. but I played cool. Remember at the back of my mind I know I'm dealing with yes, a narcissist. Yes, yes. yes. So no emotion. Exactly. You don't flare up. Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm like I am I'm not going anywhere. So that's the day I realized he went at home. Kwenu. Kwetu nyumbani. Alikuwa peke yake hakuata na you know kama umekuja umekosana na bibi yako you don't just go to the in-laws kama unaenda to a restaurant mm. at least you go with some courtesy mm. yeah angeenda na maybe mzee mmoja ama an elderly person mm. you know alienda peke yake akafanya shopping ya maajabu hapo aenda yakatishie watu nyumba mm. of which even the years nilikana yeye mimi hakuna pesa aliwahi nipea nitumie mama yangu yeah hakuna hata kitu moja so he goes home akaongea na mother Dad calls mom. Uh, no, mom was the one who called dad akamwambia, "Hey, so and so, but ako huko." Then dad was like, "Usiku." Because unajua alifika kwetu saa ngapi? Mm-hmm. Saa moja usiku. Kama haiko ime, imefika saa moja, it was a minutes to seven. So dad ilibidi atoke kwenye alikuwa aende because it's not a very good picture anyway. Mm-hmm. At in law wako na asani law wako na mother in law kwa nyumba peke mm-hmm. yao. How? What are you even talking about? na mimi hata siuko. So mimi si kuinterfere nikasema yeye ongeeni. At this point remember sijawahi open up kusema mambo yangu yote. Nimekuwa like in a cocoon of my oh, own. Eh? Mm. Sijai pata that confidence. Si kazi yangu ni nitoke job nikalie kwa nyumba. Si kwa hata nakula or anything. Mm. I was eh hey, nilikuwa nimekondeana jo. Acha tu. Mm. So the guy went home, dad nao came akakachap na wao akaongea. Understand alikuwa na toka huko mausiku usiku and then he went back. Mm-hmm. So after that day now mom calls me, akaniambia nataka upange ile siku nakuja. I'm nervous. I now go cold because mm-hmm. I'm wondering nitaenda kuanza wapi. I'm telling you that was the longest night I've ever had. I sat with my dad and mom. I remember my sister was crying unasikia sauti huko kwa bedroom. So tulikaa chini tukaanza kuongea. I just felt kiena jetu from nowhere. I was so confident and I talked, I opened up, I you know, about, ad- everything. Yeah, about everything. Na kitu yenye ilikuwa na evidence nikatoa nikaonyeshana. And mom was like, "For real? And why didn't you talk? Why didn't you tell us? Like umekuwa kienda through all this peke yako kwa nini, you know?" They were so mad. But then ikakuja tu tukaongea na hiyo ikaisha. Mm. So vile iliisha mimi nikaamka the following day and I went back. Well, sasa at least relationship yangu na mom imeanza ku stabilize. Unaona? Imeanza ku stabilize. And then at some point my mom realized ye yeah, imani nilikuwa imefanyika eh hey, wewe acha. Mm. So now the neighbors after kusikia what had happened. Kila mtu anakuja na version ya story yake. Unajua hata kuna hii, kuna yes. hii. Yaani unaambiwa maneno unashtuka. So hapo ndiyo nilikuja kujulia the reason as to why maybe mm. that's a maybe from me nilikuwa naambiwa nisiende that church yenye nilikuwa nimeonyeshwa it's because of the lady the baby mama nao number two, sababu she's from within. Even ndio oh. nilijikonkludia mm-hmm. you know. So ikakuja hivyo wa ikaisha. Yeah and I ignored everything and I was like yeah I have to stand for myself. Mm-hmm. And so mm-hmm. yeah at that point now everything now said and done my mom decides hata alikuwa ananipigia ananiambia hao watu waambiwe hata wakuje na pasta ama wakuje na nani yeah, kwangu yeah. wasikanyange ah, we so. have nothing mm-hmm. so now that's when we started talking as a family tunaulizana whatever they did the introduction eh? si kuna shopping walikaa mm-hmm. nayo kuna pesa pia waliacha kidogo so whether it should be returned mm-hmm. but then one of the grandfathers one of my grandfathers eh? akasema hiyo si kitu ya kurudishwa mm-hmm. it ilikuwa the gege part of it eh? okay. yeah so hiyo hairudishi yangu according to our custom mm-hmm. but if they insist all he ever mentioned is to, mentioned this to me uh, mentioned it eh? mm-hmm. ina fa irudishwe but then it never happened okay. yeah it never happened so at that point now mi nikanyamaza mm. na nikatulia one month now down the line mm. i now start thinking of divorce because remember i signed papers na sikumbuki ni papers za nini ni resign okay. mm. i start now going to the registrar's office to find out what it was mm. but thankfully 
my marriage was declared not and void haikuwa kitu inajulikana the legal way mm -hmm. because i understand uh, what we had signed ilikuwa consent ya lawyer ku, to declare as husband and wife ndio tuweze ku ku fry out mm -hmm. of which we were to come back after some some times so that our marriage can now be uh, recognized by the government mm -hmm. but we never came because corona happened again kukakuwa na cross down nini mm -hmm. so we never came back mm -hmm. on time okay. so i think that it was the, the period was is it 91 days mm -hmm. i'm not very conversant about those mm -hmm. whatever i was all confused so kuna vitu zingine ningekaa chini nielezewe but mimi hata si huko huko sielewi at least it so, was a relief that it was in yes. go through the whole <sighs> my goodness the day i was told it was a null and void marriage nilipata confidence ingine hata sielewi wow. yeah. and here you are yeah. uliko medanganya you are exactly. legally imagine married. imagine yeah that wow. is it you also mentioned that you have a youtube channel where you post your content yeah please tell uh, tell us about that youtube channel and mm -hmm. what kind of content you can find on that channel okay mm -hmm. uh about my platform it's more of a home <laughs> than just a channel that's mm -hmm. what i would say mm -hmm. and this is something that uh, was born out of uh at a particular time i had no no friends a particular time where even family had deserted you know not really deserting in the real sense mm -hmm. eh? but any i was in a, uh, in the world of my own and i was left with the camera and mm -hmm. uh, having passion and love for photography i would go and put maybe the camera on in front of me and start talking like i'm addressing somebody mm -hmm. and telling them these are some of the things you shouldn't do these mm -hmm. are some of the things that you should do and then also not to mention mm -hmm. Uh, due to all uh, everything that I went through, I came across a new term, a narcissist, yes. and I wanted to know what is this called narcissist, mm. you know, or what is narcissism all about. Mm -hmm. And after googling, I came to know we can be ranted, but kuna some points to naiza kuwa mm. atuelewi. Mm. Mm. So my platform, I have dedicated it to through my story, inspiring others, and also. Uh, maybe sharing the wisdom and the knowledge that i have mm -hmm. towards narcissism okay yes what's the name of the channel and how can tuko family support that channel uh the name of the channel the channel is riz moshera mm -hmm. i mean liz mo l i z m u mm -hmm. mm -hmm. underscore the favored wow yes mm -hmm. and um I think uh, with the Tuko family, when you can come in probably, mm -hmm. and uh, we spread this gospel of narcissism, because I want to believe so many people are suffering in silence. Mm -hmm. So many people are suffering in silence. Because I remember when I did my story for the first time, ah. my DM was flowing. My DM was flowing. That this is how so and so behaves. Mm. Do you think he's a narcissist? Okay, fine. I'm not there to judge. Eh? But if I give the information that maybe I have from books, from online, from wherever, maybe you can be able to weigh. Yes, and yeah, relate to that. And relate to that. Okay. Yes. What message do you have to mm -hmm. a, a person who has seen the red flags before they move towards the marriage phase with someone? Yeah. Be someone who's already in that marriage and they've seen the red flags as well mm -hmm. what message do you have to that person it could be a female or a male yeah because it's two way traffic sure. yeah you can get a narcissistic husband mm -hmm. or a narcissistic uh, wife mm -hmm. you know and uh what i would like to say eh, a marriage between a a, a wife and a narcissist mm -hmm. no a, a wife and a narcissistic person mm -hmm. or vice versa mm -hmm. that's not a marriage that's so the only solution is so exit exit the exit. remedy is exit mm -hmm. you will buy time yes or in the name of oh he will change with time or maybe he will do this and this but it only gets worse with time yes wow yeah so if you're there you are having such kind of a of a marriage setup it's the high time you go mm -hmm. and then about the red flags you ignore them day one the one thousand uh, what can i call it mm -hmm. after a thousand days it will still be the reason you leave yeah yeah so you will have wasted your time energy, exactly but still have to work. yes okay yeah we appreciate your candidness with us mm -hmm. we also appreciate your time thank you and that you have chosen to be vulnerable with us it's not mm -hmm. easy even revisiting yeah. those painful sure. past experiences and using that experience to inspire people out there 
so that they don't walk into the same ditch that you did. Yeah, sure. So we appreciate you and we thank you so much for mm -hmm. taking the time to come and share that story with us. And one thing I have learned from you mm -hmm. is every time you go through an experience, at least learn something from it. Sure, that. Don't remain the same. Yeah. So that's the same message I'll bring to you, my dear viewer. And that's the same message I'd like to leave with you, my dear viewer. And before I wrap up, I'd like to give you a simple quote. It is difficult when you're growing, but the point is you are growing, even if it's difficult. Well, thank you so much for watching us till the end of the show. Do not forget to subscribe to Caroline's channel and support her. Be sure to see so much inspiring content from her channel. Support her and show her some love like we always do on the Tuko channel. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Yvonne Kawaya. Thank you.